Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. Hi everybody. I'm so glad you're here. If you're here live with us, welcome. And if you're watching after the fact, welcome. Uh, we just came from the Sidley Twins chat. They are wonderful. We love them. And I uh, had the best time chatting. So I was like, oh crap, I got to set up my live real quick. <laughs> oh, I just got so into it. There's so much fun over there. Thanks for being here, everybody. So if you're new, I like to read some of the comments. I'll do that. And then um, we'll talk about some news stories. I pulled some funny pictures to share with you all. And um, we'll get into this. I'm just so thankful for all of you. So glad you're here. And here with me is a very popular person indeed. Uh, it is Jet. I wasn't hesitating on his name. I'm having some sort of weird technical thing go on. Let me know if you can hear me in the comments because it's... Usually I get some feedback and I'm not getting any feedback. Can everybody hear me? Okay, I think YouTube is being a little weird. Let me know if you can hear me in the comments. Oh, okay, good, you can. Okay, awesome. All right, well, here with me is my favorite sa sidekick. Say hello. Hey everybody, it's Jay, also known as Dr. Bad Vibes, and hey Jen, I, while you were away, I just told about 100 people that they can come hang out at the gym. Oh! So, uh, yeah, we got a house party. <laughs> but that was fun, I like watching the twins. They're, they're, they're very funny. Very, very lovely people. Okay, awesome. Getting a lot that you can hear me, that's awesome, I'm so glad. Yeah, usually I get... Like it's hard to explain. I get these thing, these cues showing that that the connection's good and that people are on and all that, but everything was blank, so I got scared for a minute. But it sounds like we're coming in loud and clear. Thank you guys for being here. If you were there at the Sidley Twins uh, chat, that's amazing. They're so much fun, aren't they? I love them. Um, I recognize I've mean, answered a lot of names that were over there. Thank you for joining me over here. All right. So I'm going to go through and say hi to some people, and then we'll get into some news. And you guys, I pulled some very funny pictures that I thought we could discuss. And let's just have a fun chat. I'm here to talk about whatever you guys want to talk about, talk about. All right. Let me just jump in here in the comments. So I see Marilyn is here. Hello. This HRH Catherine, the People's Princess. I hope she's healing well. Same here, Marilyn. Absolutely. Elaine is here, Hong Kong. Dr. Debo Cherry. Oh, sorry. Is it Cherry or Sherry? I never know if I'm saying that right. I left the, yeah, I left the twins to come over. I had to come in late. No, no, no. That's cool. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. We got our first gifted Real Housewives Recaps memberships. Thank you so much, uh, Una Pakora. I so appreciate that so much that's so kind of you um i'm going to keep reading comments i am still having a technical thing let me fix a wire so jay's gonna talk and uh and i'll be right there hello everybody this yeah jen, jen we we kind of just jumped on on a whim it's funny we were planning you talking about going live and planning and then i can't remember how it came up jen looked at youtube she's like oh the twins are about to go live so you know we were we were like, well, let's not step on their toes. Let's just go go live whenever they finish. And uh, we watched theirs. That was fun. I hope everybody in here saw it. They're very, very funny, very nice, and just very lovely people. I like watching their streams, even though I'm, you know, just kind of on the uh, the sidelines of all this. But hey, they're great. Checking out the chat here, and yeah, thank you again, Uno Pakora, for the gift membership. Very generous. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see here. Random ones here. Love this community. Yes, everybody is so nice in this community. You know, coming from a, uh, <laughs> a video game community, everybody's like, you suck at that game. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> everybody's nice here. And yeah, Mark M, me and Jay are the only dudes here. <laughs> hey, Mark, let's have a club. You lucky boys. <laughs> I'm back. You're lucky guys. Then if you're the only dudes here, that's awesome. We usually have a few dudes here. I'm just so glad everybody's here. Um, again, if I, sorry, I was a wire came loose right when I was in the middle of talking. So I don't even know if I finished thanking Una Pakora for that very, very generous gift of 10 Real Housewives memberships recap. Uh, these Real Housewives recaps memberships. I said that backwards. Thank you so much for gifting that. That really means so much. All right, let's keep saying hi. Hi, Don G. LC, thanks for being here. 
be here. Is it Ivana? I hope I'm saying that right. Thanks for being here. Blanche, hey, hey. Lisa Meredith, this live with handoff to you was fun. That's awesome. I know. See, <laughs> I'm all for things like this. I think it's great to support each other. I texted Stephanie. I was like, I'm not trying to steal your stuff. You guys are just so good. And we wanted to do a live, but I don't want to distract from there. So we worked it out with timing so we could both promote each other. So I think that's great. Love doing that. Women supporting women, right? Um, let's see here. Honesty and truth is here. Hello. It says Jay has the most sweet, calm, lovely accent as you do. Thank you so much. Do you want to say anything? Why? Thank you. <laughs> Me talking totally normal. totally normal. Very sensual. It's like ASMR. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna start tapping the microphone. Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. But thank you everybody for the compliments. Everybody's so nice. Uh, and I was responding to a comment in chat. Uh, Cabbage Cabbage Joe said thank you. She saw my stream the other night and was saying she had fun. So thank you for coming by. You're and yeah, so another another handy handoff. Uh, when Jen is done streaming, um, I didn't really have anything planned, so I'm just going to be streaming some uh, video games that I'm about to, well, a, a video game that I'm about to finish, and that will be on my regular Doctor Bad Vibes channel and also Twitch. So we'll we'll hand that off when this is over, but there's no set time. Yeah, so it's it's amazing how crowded a home gym has gotten. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see here um Lisa says lovely to be with like-minded people i feel the same way jackie swan is here stories from skyrim says good grief look at the size of that in harry's hand i know these pictures are so funny so i had been gathering pictures for a video recently where i did um clown images of them but then i just started playing around with different photos um of them and it really you gotta love these silly photos I, I i get distracted sometimes when i'm talking i look up and i just start laughing when i see them hi lisa honk honk thanks for being a member of the drunk goose club for a month that's awesome um and if you guys missed it jay i'm stalling because i'm finding it here you go made us some new emojis i'm putting them in the chat right now so there's the one with the claw actually two with the claw a crown and a gosling. Yeah, you did a great job. Thanks. I've been <laughs> I've been an emoji factory lately. I put uh, I made these first based on some ideas and suggestions, and then I realized, oh, I, I can actually make emojis on Twitch now. So I had to make a few for myself. But all the effort went into these. These are more these were more fun to draw. The other ones are video game related. <laughs> I just saw, here we go, Marilyn Jarvis. I want South Park too. Me too. It's long overdue. We, we There's so much more content. They can make a whole season about Hank and Skank. They can make a whole series, just a spinoff about Hank and Skank and how funny would that be? Uh, Jackie says she loves this gosling. Me too. I thought it was so cute. All right. Um, Jord H says, hi. The, if you've covered the, oh, sorry if you've covered this, but about nine days ago, I watched Talk TV. Tom Bauer was on and he said that King Charles, Camille, and Harry. So, yeah, I'd, I'd heard something along those lines, too. I didn't see the Talk TV one, but I'd heard that. I remember reading something like that. See, now it's all blurring together in my head. But I believe when I read Revenge, he kind of indicated, maybe it was him, maybe it's somebody else. I'm sorry. I've read so many books that they blur together. But it, it, they, they kind of indicate it's more Camilla and it was more, I've said this before, but I want to say this here because it, it just, it, it, I think about this, that whole trying to make it into a villain thing. It wasn't meant or taken like that at the time. It since spun into something. And to me, I was thinking, well, if they really weren't welcoming to her, they wouldn't joke about, or not even joke, but, you know, wonder what the future kids would look like. It'd be like, you don't want to do that. Are you sure you want to get into this? You know, that sort of thing. But no, it sounds like they were welcoming and they were talking about, I wonder what your children will look like. A totally relevant, normal question, I think. Hey, a huge thank you to Fortune Cookies Tarot for the super and it wrote and, and they wrote weird psychic here didn't see this double feature coming oh i'm so glad. 
I'm so glad you're here. I kind of love that. I'm sure you still get surprised too by stuff, but that's funny. That's a really funny comment. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, we just decided I'll promote their channel. So I posted about it in my community tab. Make sure you all are subscribed and you check the community tab. I try to post when I'm going to chat. And then um, they had posted, they had said they'll do a handoff to me, which was really nice. Um, HL says, can I adopt the gosling? I think she'd love to grow up in Scotland. Well, we go where she goes. So I'll make you a deal. How about you adopt the three of us and we'll all come to Scotland. I like that plan very much. Um, Eileen, thank you so much for joining the Drunk Goose Club. If you don't know what we're talking about, um, to everybody else, when you hit that join button, it gives us a message that says, welcome to the Drunk Goose Club. You now have access to the emojis. It gives you a little badge by your name when you post that sort of thing. Thanks for being here. Uh, Elena says, I absolutely love the Quentin Let's piece you highlighted this morning, Jen. Brilliant. Elena, I can't thank you enough for that. I feel the same way. I thought, um, I thought it was so well written. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, definitely go back and watch this morning's video. So well written. I love the way he speaks. I definitely have had such nice feedback on that, that I, it's inspired me. I want to go find more things he's written. In fact, I'm writing that down as a note to myself. I will go find more let's um more things he's written and talk about them because i thought he just he really like was very eloquent in the way he spoke but also summed things up very well i thought that was great wheezy squeeze box is here they were so kind to her i think so too mindy peach says hi i'm a newbie i've listened to your show well hi mindy you're not a newbie here you're a drunk goose thanks for being here i really appreciate it honesty and truth says the fashion being a brit i can't I just can't comment. Let's have Jay's remarks when he can. I've had more requests for that, Jay. They want you to make comments on her fashion. So I uh, know here you go ahead. Yeah, I'm a total fashion yeah, I uh, think that's mogul. <laughs> like, yeah, those are pants. Mm -hmm. Those aren't pants. Oh, yeah, I just noticed in the chat a second ago, the name just popped back in my head. I saw Steven Magnus. That was the name I was trying to remember. We had a video recently, you know, speculating on tax documents and stuff. And uh, I think. Seems like that's come up a couple of times. He was the one on the stream a while back that talked about uh, the charity tax filings. Again, all speculation, but that, that definitely pointed us in the right direction to kind of dissect those and presumably see that nobody in the general public has donated money to Archwell. <laughs> so th th yeah, so thank you, Stephen. That, uh, that's been the gift that's kept on giving. <laughs> Brought that up a few times. Um, Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I was I was talking and missed the. Point. No, I see. There's two here, Kate. And then, and then uh, Eileen. Kate and Eileen, thank you for becoming members. And yeah, so Zano, uh, uh, I don't know how to join the club. If you look, it depends on what device you're on. This is where we run in the issue. Well, YouTube in general runs in the issues. I don't know why they don't fix this, but I guess, first of all, if you're on um, an iPhone or iPad, it's not going to show up if you're using the app. Um, you need to be on a browser. I actually have, I made a video that explains how to join if you can't do it. So I'll, I'll grab that link in just a second. I'll post it for, if, if anybody's wanting to join and they're having trouble, it's it's a whole thing. If you're on uh, iPhone or iPad, maybe certain versions of Android too. I'm not sure, but it uh, it plays nicer with the the, uh, the full version of the website in, in a nutshell. But normally, at the uh, near the send button with the chat, the uh, the little currency symbol. It may look different in different countries, but it looks like a dollar bill in the U.S. If you click that. It gives you the options for super chat, super stickers, memberships, gifting. So if you don't see the the join or the gifting, that probably means that it's not supported for some reason, and you got to go to the desktop site. So I'll I'll, I'll get the video for that. It, it it explains it. And oh yeah, Marcia says it was a nice little video, Jay. You're, I'm glad it was helpful. It was honestly like I didn't know how difficult it was until I tried to do it because I'm usually on a laptop, so I didn't. No, YouTube, don't make it so convoluted. I know. 
again, thank you to everybody who has joined not only in this stream, but just previously. There's so many members here in the chat. I really appreciate that very much. All right, getting into this. I'm just so glad you all are here. There's a lot of you on today. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. 4.30 where we are. Don't know where you are. Hey, let's play that game. Uh, leave a comment in the chat. Where are you? Where are you typing in from? I will this off and write, Florida, where are you guys from? I just always like to, you know, I love to travel. It's my obsession. So just leave uh, where, you're, where you're chatting from and uh, I'll daydream about each of your places. How about that? Um, you're live. Yay. Yay. You're here, Connie. Have you ever noticed Connie's username? Jay, you need to look and react to Connie's username. You'll like it so much. She's wonderful. <laughs> Nice. Uh, I don't. I don't remember seeing that name before. Very, very, very good username, Connie. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're getting some responses. Let's see here. Is it Happy Fit? Marie is Vegas. Effie is Pennsylvania. Patty Ann Chicago. Barbara is Georgia. Uh, Kimberly, hi, Hong Kong. Oh, Kimberly, you were so kind to Jay on his channel. Thank you for that. I. Just wanted to make sure you said, I know you responded to my thank you, but thank you for, do you want to say thank you real quick to Kimberly and also the other? Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. And hey, one more thing. Uh -huh. Shout out to Stefan. <laughs> thank you, Kimberly. All right. Uh, Jane is also in Tampa. A lot of Floridians here. Christine, uh, oh, talking to Susan. Nancy's Wisconsin. Ooh, Deneen is from Brazil. That's amazing. Uh, Swindon, very cool. I just was looking up places in the UK and I saw that place on the map. I know that's a weird thing to say, but I don't know UK geography very well. And so I was looking up different places because I'm dying to go back. And so I oh, Swindon. London. Oh, are the twins here? No, I missed it. Where are they? Oh, there they are. What up? We had to take the doggies for a walk. No worries. We were just talking about how much we loved your chat. How wonderful you guys are. I think it's so cool that they um, raised so much money for such a good cause. I think that's really incredible. So feel free. In fact, um, hold on, I'm stalling. Great. I just added you guys as moderators. So feel free to post the link to the charity that you are raising money for. They always collect for animal causes. And I think that's so important and so cool. Cabbage Joe is in New Zealand. No way. That's so cool. Uh, uh, Jill, not related to Tom, says, greetings from Scotland. Uh, hello. I think we need a Scottish accent to say hello. Why, hello there, Mr. Moneybag. If it's not Scottish, it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, goodness. See, you're just going to drive the girls crazy, right? Oh, it's yes. too funny. All right. I'm scrolling down and catching up. Let's see. Tracy is from Scotland. Oh my gosh. So many people are from Scotland. I'm dying to go to Scotland. Received my new Not Bloody Likely tea. Oh my gosh. You love it. Thank you, Donna. When Jay is free, I want to have him for one or two nights. Jay, you are very popular. Thanks for all the, <laughs> the comments. Uh, I was uh, responding to something in chat. Did, uh, did you see Steven's? Please. Yeah, so Steven. Thank you, Steven. Yeah, you're, you're, you, he's always a source of information <laughs> in these lives. So uh, Steven, he's super chat. He says, Clever Blends LLC is selling three Super Lattes products in Target stores. This was probably supported by the $2.78 million in capital raised in May. I have not seen that in stores yet. I mean, yeah. you know, maybe next time yeah. we're in Target, we'll yeah. take a look. But I don't want to drink mushrooms. I want to drink yeah. coffee. <laughs> I bet Harry had a hand in that. I'll only drink it if it has mushrooms in it. Oh my goodness. All right. Staten Island, New York. Very cool. Sicilian princess. I like your name very much. A lot of people saying hi to the twins. I'm now a triplet. <gasps> KT is here. Hi, KT. Gifted 20 Real Housewives Recaps memberships. KT, you're so generous. Thank you so much for that, my lobster. I appreciate that. I'm still checking out your new, I don't know if they're called thumbnails. You're user picture, whatever it is. Beautiful. Uh, okay. Dr. Is it Dr. Debo? Hopefully. Okay. Cherry is my name. Scottish. It's my maiden name. My grandfather came on the boat with his five brothers. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Well, I recognize your name because you have 
been a longtime supporter of my channel, and I thank you so much for that. You were very kind to us before we went to um, Coronation. You were very sweet, and I won't forget that, and I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. People are chatting about the membership. Thank you, KT, for that. Catherine with a K is from West Yorkshire. I have a really shitty accent, but I'm sure yours is beautiful. That's awesome. Are there any Welsh here? You know what? I am dying to go to Wales. That is very high on my list, too. Very high. I would love to go to Wales. So, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that, but I wish I was there. <laughs> um, oh, I have a question. Sorry, I know I'm like going off on a tangent, but I keep looking at places to visit in the UK and somebody keeps recommending Hampshire. Is it Hampshire? Hampshire, I guess is how you pronounce it. In England, sounds like it's outside of London. Anybody know anything about that? Is it a nice area? Is it, I don't know, fun place for kids? It looks like it would be. That's why I'm, I'm just wondering. Let me know. If you have any information on Hampshire, 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 let me know. Uh, KT says, you guys are welcome. KT, you are always so kind. Thank you so much. Oh, Debo. Okay, thank you. Again, I don't mean to be daft, if you will, on the pronunciation. I'm just... I kept reading it like Debo from Friday. That's what I, was thinking. <laughs> I figured yeah. that probably wasn't it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> explain in case people... I don't know. Yeah, that's the, the movie, it's a yeah. movie from the 90s. It's um, uh, Ice Cube and, um, gosh, I forget the other, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, the, the guy that was in uh, Rush Hour, Chris Tucker. It's uh, Ice Cube and Chris Tucker. Them hang it's basically a movie about them hanging out on their porch and not working. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. But Debo's the, uh, the neighborhood bully uh, played by... I have a problem. I can't remember actors' real names. I just remembered like the first role I saw him in. So he's Zeus in No Holds Barred. Uh, Tiny Lister, I think. Uh, it seems like he passed away. It is a hu huge dude. So yeah, very funny movie. Go check it out. <laughs> ah, so many people are responding. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Hampshire is Jane Austen country. Yes, part of my reason for wanting to go. Big fan. I think that'd be so cool. And I believe... Not to be too cheesy, but I'm huge into Downton Abbey, and I believe that uh, Hi, Hi Claire, I think is how you say it, is nearby. So I would love to see that as well. Hi, David. Thanks for being here. Hong Kong, buddy. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Katie, it says member for one month. Thank you for being here. Hey, Jen and Jay, love your videos. Hong Kong, well, you know what? I appreciate that so much. I really do. I'm so glad you all are here. Hampshire is beautiful. Come visit. Oh, I would love to. That's very high on my list yeah so kathy's saying it's green and pretty i know i don't want to compromise the whole chat talking about where i want to go but i'm dying to go <laughs> no um i was looking for you know I, london is my favorite but i was looking for maybe places good for families and stuff and somebody had recommended that so now i've kind of fallen down a rabbit hole um looking at the area and so now i've kind of become obsessed so there's so many places i want to go so many okay but um, anyway, guys, so now that I've said my hellos and I've talked your ears off, let's get into some fun stuff, shall we? I have some stuff on Hank and Skank, if you will. All right. So first up, I want to talk about, have you heard about Harold and Fraud? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to, I'm probably going to break this into a separate video. So let me try this. Hey, guys. <laughs> Thanks for being here on chat. Um. So we've heard the news that supposedly Hank and Skank, Harold and Fraud, are headed to Whistler in a few weeks. I don't have the exact dates in front of me, but from the way I'm understanding it, it's for in Invictus, or if you like to call it, Ingriftus. And I just got clarification on the Sidley Twins chat. Again, love them. Thank you, everybody, for being so kind over there, and thank you for following us over here. But um, just got information that it sounds like it's like, it's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like they're going soon, but the actual games themselves will be next winter. So it'll be 2025 that they actually do the games, but it's like a setup meeting, potentially a fundraising meeting. I'm not sure exactly the details, but the point is, you know, they'll be there. You know, they'll have backgrid on speed dial. 
Let's talk about that. What do we think we'll see? What do you think will happen? And don't worry, I've pulled some looks that I think we will see when they get there. So I'm going to read some of your comments and I'll show you some of the looks that I think she will be showing up in. What antics do you think we'll see? Now, reminder, the last time they were at Engriftus, they were pretending to be in love. That was their theme, right? All over each other. Look how in love we are. Because again, the rumors at that point were circulating. Uh, nope, things aren't good. I think that's around the time, if I remember correctly, that he had been, I don't know, alleged to have a side place, you know what I mean? That hotel. Um, and uh, so they seem to go with that theme and do the opposite and put on a very faux and love display. So this time, what will it be? For some reason, parenting keeps coming into mind. I don't know that we'll see kids. I don't really want to talk about kids, but I'm just saying, do you think it'll be She'll involve, she'll tell antics about the kids. She'll be photographed. I don't know, something like a, oh, look, I accidentally brought Lily's sweater with me. Whoopsies, you know, and show that off to the crowd. Will it be something like that? Let me know your predictions. Oh my gosh, Alberto is saying wrinkled. And by the way, my love to all the Canadian go geese. I love you all so much. Uh, you guys are great. And my apologies that you are getting Hank and Skank. I would love to go to Whistler, by the way. That is very high on my list of places to see. Too bad those two are going. <laughs> the Royal Brief is here and says, I'm sure Megan will have a suitcase full of inappropriate outfits for Whistler. Uh, yeah, they will. Aren't they going there for Valentine's? Ooh, is it? Is it that soon? I thought it was the end of the month. Maybe it is. I'm not really sure. Um, Happy Fit Marie thinks that she will mention the kids. I think so too. So last time it was, you guys, I was getting milkshakes. Ha ha ha. You know, that whole thing. Yeah, right? And um, <laughs> so I wonder how they will allude to the children this time. Um, All right. So shall we take a look? I brought some... Uh, photos of what I think we'll see her in. Everybody get ready to look at your screens. Three, two, one. Here you go. There you go. You know, just a nice, simple outfit. Uh, <laughs> nothing over the top, right? <laughs> That's what we'll see her in. Since we saw her in a, a ball gown or a ball gown skirt and a tank top, I don't know, whatever it was in Jamaica, why not wear a snowy themed ball gown to Whistler, right? understated right i mean she wore a romper to the last one so why not wear a giant snowy ball gown all right donna windsor says totally inappropriate clothing i'm sure winter so probably shorts yeah you're probably right honesty and truth says thank you jen and jay for supporting the brits oh thank you your honorary brits and and the little gosling oh my gosh well that is the kindest compliment in the world i appreciate that so much i really do uh, a lot of people are laughing at the picture. I know. So will she wear this? I mean, what do we think? What will Harry wear? He'll be in short shorts. Yeah. He'll be in a romper. Wheezy Squeezebox says, I saw a picture of him in the snow wearing point shoes, no socks before has been. That sounds right. Why not? So that's funny to me. When I think of snow and, and her in the snowy pictures, and unfortunately I don't have it here ready to go. I should have had it ready, but I got distracted by how wonderful the Sidley, tw Sidley twins were. Um, but uh, remember all this time she allegedly called paparazzi on herself when she was living in Canada. So there's all these snowy pictures of her. I showed them in a video recently walking and the paparazzi happened to know where she was and get photos of her with her rolled up yoga mat. So who knows? Um, let's see. Christine says, I have a Canada t-shirt. Nice. One of my favorite t-shirts I ever saw was a, um, a shirt that said Canadians are a E H holes. And I think that's so funny. No disrespect to Canada. It's just a joke with the a cause they say the a, but, uh, too funny, but yeah, so there's that. And then shall we take a look at another option? Cause I brought another option for her. ready. Bam. There we go. There's another option looking good, right? Understated, small. I like this one better than the wedding dress she wore. So there's a compliment, right? Jay, they want you to co comment on the fashions. What are your thoughts on this? And should we renew our vows just so I can wear this dress? Hmm. 
upon close inspection, that's a dress. Yeah. <laughs> um, fashion. I fashion. It kind of looks like the dress from Beetlejuice. Oh, it does. Uh, that, again, yeah. uh, again, I can't remember any actor's name. The Alec Baldwin wife. Uh, Gina. There, yeah. Uh, no, nah, the in Beetlejuice, oh, Gina, Gina Davis. That's it. Yeah, I was like, I'm just like, the, oh, like the girl from the fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember names, but yes, it's very, very, uh, very poofy. Yes. <laughs> and that's about the fashion tips you'll get from him. And if you don't know why, well, you can watch him on a live stream at some point and see. <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, somebody said the funniest comment. Let me scroll back up. Somebody said she'd show up. Oh, I wish I could find it. Whoever you are, you're hilarious. Said she'd show up in a Jamaica t-shirt, probably. Probably so. Um, all right. And then I have one other option pulled. Shall we take a look? There you go. Bam. There's your winter look. White swan, right? <laughs> Too funny. There you go. Totally normal, right? Something she would she wouldn't want to draw any attention to herself whatsoever. So of course she'd wear that with a crown, right? Oh, too funny. Oh, yes, HL says ask Beebs to review her wardrobe. Oh, I absolutely will. You know, I, I love to talk to Beebs. Christine says I grew up near the Canadian border, went there all the time. That's awesome. Dr. Debo says, Oh, you're talking to somebody else. And then um, let's see here. Anim, uh, animal and a one says I'm with you, Jay. Not good with fashion. Oh, us either, but neither is Megan. So there's that appropriate beach wear for Megan. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, too funny. That dress has a waistline. That's right. And it's not right under her boobs. So Megan wouldn't be able to do that. Too funny. Oh my goodness. Jay knew, knows more about fashion than Megan does. That's true. <laughs> That is possible. That's right. All right. So, um, all right. I'll take this picture down. Oh, the picture just popped up behind it. That's pretty funny. <laughs> what? Could you talk us through the picture on the screen now, Jay? Um, so it's a goose with a banana head. <laughs> that uh, that's yeah, and a, and a mohawk that's got Megan very excited. Perhaps she wants to eat the banana. But yeah. It, some of these AI photos are wild. It's like you'll tell it something simple. Like sometimes I'll even use it for thumbnails to be like, hey, give me a person on an airplane. It just gives me some nightmare fueled atrocity. I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks, technology. But, uh, but it works here. These are hilarious. I kind of say the crazier the better, right? It just seems to fit their outlandish behavior. But what do you think we'll see in the Canada visit? They are in so much hot water slash bad press publicity, whatever you want to call it. it somebody just said that's Megan without the filters. Yeah, maybe so. Um, that uh, I think they will lay it on thick for the photos in Canada. I do. Now, I don't think we'll get as much of a show as the actual Invictus, but I think they know they're in deep, you know what? So they're trying to put out old videos from a couple years ago. So they will use this opportunity to put out new photos do new silly things, take more jets, <laughs> all of that. And of course, continue to ignore the real issues that we're not joking about, which is the parks situation. How awful is that? Still no word. Not that I'm surprised. Still no word. Uh, I did see somebody else <laughs> say she'll wear that dress in beige. Yeah, maybe so. That's pretty good. Oh, too funny. Um, let's see. I love this one with Mohawk. Me too. I like this picture of Harry too. That's um, that one's not AI. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> Hi, Lady Amber Alexander. Long time no see. So Lady Amber Alexander is wonderful. She is on TikTok. I used to be on TikTok some, and then I just, I, I just, I'm so bad at it, and I don't have a lot of time over there. So I haven't been on in a long time. So I haven't been commenting but uh i love your tiktoks everybody check her out if tiktok is your thing lady amber alexander she's always so kind and is always so lovely about my channel thank you for that and i'm glad you're here and i hope you're doing well 
All right, let's see here. Sherry says, why are they coming to Canada? Is Harry's visa coming to an end? Isn't there something about his visa coming up? I was thinking that was also happening very soon. They have another meeting coming up about that, about uh, whether or not they're going to, what, share that information with the public, something like that. Honestly, it's my, hi, sorry, Lady Amber uh, Alexander saying, hi, Jenna J. Hi, I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody check out her TikTok. She's wonderful. Um, uh, where was I going? Oh, not to, I don't go political, so I'm not gonna go political, but I'll say, regardless of what side of the aisle you are on, I, I don't think we, our government is too concerned with anybody's anything as far as who's from where or what as far, you know, checking papers. Yeah, especially if you have money. So I don't think anybody, you know what I mean? Like as much as I'd love to say, oh, they're going to crack down and kick him out. They're not going to do shit. Oh, it's so infuriating. So infuriating. Um, Shell, hi. Thanks for being here. Says, I'm still hoping someone in Canada will play Worldwide Privacy Tour song when they disembark from the private plane. Yes, please. If we have anybody in Canada, play that Worldwide Privacy song very loudly from your phone from uh, South Park. That's that's funny. Hey, buddy. We want privacy. We uh, want privacy. You might have to go to Canada and do that. <laughs> Hey, buddy, let's go to Canada. Yeah. That's my South Park Canadian voice. The end. That's pretty good. Pretty good. You know, I love the voices. Uh, Kimberly just said something funny. Where is it? Oh, no, it was November 23rd. Okay, so that's Harry's, that Harry's hearing thing, or not hearing, uh, where they're supposed to let us know about the visa thing. I hold out less than no hope on that. Thank you. Yes, Wheezy Squeezebox filling me in. It's the Hearing with the Heritage Foundation. I don't even know if Goofball has to be there or not. I just don't think anything will come of that. I really don't. Um, let's see here. Ireland, Hong Kong. Uh, can you say something in an Irish accent? Top of the morning to you. I'll be there soon to kiss the blarney stuff. Yes. Sorry. I hope I didn't commit a hate crime. No. We love our Irish geese. That's awesome. Uh, everyone from Canada needs to head over there and sing We Want Privacy. That's right, Emma. Emma, uh, you're the one of the ones that I always notice because I love your cute puppy and your thumbnail. He's so cute. I want to pet his little face. I don't know if it's your dog or what, but I want to hug him. Uh, <laughs> I always notice people's, I don't know if they're called thumbnails, whatever, your pictures. And when you have a doggy, I always pay attention. Like, shell, it looks like, although you're, the thumbnails are small and my vision sucks, so I don't know if that's a dog or a cow, but whatever it is, it's cute, and I want to pet him. Ah, <laughs> oh, too funny. Oh, my gosh, Lucy says, would be funny if people cosplayed Harry and Megan. Oh, my gosh, that is such a funny idea. I wear your craziest red dress. Too funny. All right, so we talked about, um, let me see, I think that's all the photos on the Whistler thing. Uh, oh, thank you, Jackie, for gifting five Real Housewives Recaps memberships. I appreciate that so much. I truly do. Now, I have one other story. I didn't, I wasn't, it's not huge, so I didn't know about making a video on it. I thought this would be a good place to talk about it, so let's talk about this. Have you all seen this? I'll give you a second to pull up again thank you jackie for gifting the five real housewives release caps memberships and emma says thank you jen oh it's a girly and she's snoring asleep at the moment well let her sleep soundly and when she wakes up give her some pets for me please will you honk at her for me she's so cute uh, <laughs> so cute and let's see here wouldn't it be funny if the Harkles were on here? Yeah, I know, right? That would not actually shock me. Annalise Art is here. Hello, Hong Kong. Thanks for being here. All right, so let's take a look at the screen. This is something that just popped up in Daily Mail. I think it came out today, maybe. Yeah, the third. Um, have you heard about this, Jane Goodall? Uh, and if you're... <laughs> All right, go with me for a second. If you're a Friends fan, do you remember the episode where Chandler... Oh, rest in peace... Chandler kept saying, I'm trapped in the vestibule with Jill Goodacre. He said it just like that, so I'm saying it like that. Jill Goodacre. So not that uh, I'm confusing Jill Goodacre and Jane Goodall, but <laughs> it's just for some reason when I hear that name, I start thinking, I'm trapped in a vestibule with Jill Goodacre. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this came out today, and basically Jane Goodall 
um, had, uh, according to this, met Archie right after he was born. And it was because Harry was, I think it, it said in the article he was interviewing her for something. And, um, oh, sorry, I'm getting the, de I read so many things this morning. I'm getting them all confused. Let me think. Okay. Harry was going to interview her for something. She saw baby Archie. She got to hold him for, for a minute and she made a joke about, oh, she used his little hand or something and did a wave like her majesty, the late queen. Well, Harry apparently was sour about that and said, you know what? Let me just pull the article so I can say exactly what he said. Whatever it was, it was shitty. Oh, here it is. I'm pulling the article. My apologies. I should have had this ready to go. Hold on. Um, here. He said. Okay, here it is. Harry was interviewing her for Forces of Change. And uh, they were at Frogmore. Megan came into the room as the interview drew to a close. And uh, she was holding Archie. And then they let Jane hold him. And sa she says he was very tiny and sleepy. I think I was the first one to cuddle him outside of his family. I made Archie do the Queen's wave, saying, I'll su I suppose he'll have to learn this. Harry's reaction was no he's not growing up like that i mean what a shit bag he... i'll go on and on about this but seriously what a dick how are you going to sorry i need to i need to try that reaction again because if i end up cutting this video out i can't keep saying that let me try that again okay what a jerk like to say that you can't just you're still living at that point under you know in one of the mansions that belong to the royal family and yet you can't even play along. You can't even not be a prick for one second. You can't just say, yes, you know, he'll be great at it, whatever it is. Nope. He's just such a petulant a-hole. I just can't with Harry. Every time I think Megan's the worst, and I still wonder, but I remember things like this. Like, Harry's just as much of a prick, if not more, I mean, to, to act like that. And I'm sorry, but you put your guest in an awkward situation. Even if he felt like that, it's, you know, it's his choice to raise his kids how he want. It's not that. It's just, you can't not be a dick for a second. You can't not make your guest feel weird. You're in the royal household. It's not lost on me. You're, yeah, having all these privileges and yet you're still pissing on them even back then. So mm, I get really upset about that. Yeah. It's like he doesn't know how to act around people. It, it, it reminds me of the John Travolta thing recently it's like he just tried to make a relatable story to tie it in together and then harry's like oh no you blah, 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 blah. It, it sounds like the same thing it's like uh, you know if you've had a newborn in the house you've probably had a grandparent or a parent whoever somebody maybe even just a friend of the family like you know you got a baby boy's like oh he's gonna be a baseball player yeah. you're not like no baseball sucks yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's just like you just go along with it it's just small talk it's it doesn't mean anything. It's exactly. it's conversation, dude. And just a reminder, Archie, whatever you believe about, I, you know, I don't go into the kid stuff, but whatever you believe, allegedly he was born around May, May 2019, and they didn't leave till 2020. So they were, I mean, it's not a shock that they're already acting like this. We know that, but they were already acting like this. And and to Jay's point, you can't just play along. Um, and then I just saw a comment I wanted to read because I thought it was so good. And now it's, let's see, where did it go? Oh, um, right here, Elaine, thank you, says, so he didn't want his son to respect his gran? Exactly. You were telling me that you'd rather him follow Megan's lead than I, Her Majesty the Late Queen? Really? That's, <laughs> that tells me everything I need to know about Harry, right? Ugh. Thank you, Mary Ann Thorson, for the super. I really appreciate that. And it says, speak of Invictus. I commented under an Invictus PR post saying, I would like to read more info about the vets instead of reading what Meg was wearing. Needless to say, I met the sugars. Oh, boy. That is such a good point, though, Mary. You're so right. It's, it's about taking attention away from them. That was the big beef I had with um, her marching in front of them at Invictus. It was really disgusting. I'm sure we'll see more of that in just a couple weeks, right? 
Um, but going back to this story, yeah, everybody's commenting on it. Has is just an idiot. What can you do? Exactly. He's just an ungrateful, spoiled brat. Um, I think I, it just, I think it's easy to write him off as just simple, <laughs> but I think he's, he's sinister, you know, to act like that. I do. I just have a real problem with him. I do. I will both of them, obviously. Uh, Jan says Jane Goodall was probably observing Harriet as a, stu a new study. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Too funny. She was probably trying to teach him sign language and yeah. then and, and, like dangled a banana from him. He's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> he gets confused between bananas and crayons. Um, let's see. Lost NTX has such a good point. It says when my kids did this quirky thing or that, uh, that my grand did, I loved it. I can't imagine being so bitter. Thank you. When I get frustrated. I lose my ar ability to articulate how I'm feeling. That is exactly what it is. He's so bitter and, and just so hateful about things. I mean, again, he and Megan deserve each other. So sometimes people say, oh, I feel sorry for Harry. I don't. And it's because of reasons like this. Ah, awful people. Awful people. He sure as shit doesn't mind taking the freebies and the perks from the royal family. Remember, he wanted to be half in, half out. But yeah, I mean, just to just to act like that. And again, and and what you guys are all saying and what Jay said, even if he felt that way, is that the right time to speak up about that? Isn't that something you just share with your spouse? Like, no, we don't, we won't be raising him like that. But do you voice that out loud? Why does he have to continue to be so disrespectful, especially toward Her Majesty the Late Queen? He loves to brag about their quote-unquote special relationship. Remember, he talked about it in Spare. And yet, we find out things like this. Um, and P.S., it does say that there's a new book coming out, and that's where they got this information. Let me get the book name. Um, let's see here. Hold on one second. It says the book is called... Sorry, I'm scanning the article trying to find it. There is a book called Battle of the Brothers, or maybe it already came out. It's I just have his last name. The person's last name is Lacey. I'm writing that down. I am knee deep of, hold on, Battle of the Brothers. Lacey, I am in the middle of reading this Charles book. I'm starting it this week. So I know I keep teasing it. I really am starting. I'm very excited. I'm... Uh, in the middle of the recaps right now, and I can tell you it's good. And I've had a lot of people saying they've read it too, and it's very good. So that is coming first. That is my priority. But then after that, maybe I'll look into Battles of the Brothers because I'm curious. Um, yeah, but let me know your thoughts. Let me read some of these comments and catch up here. Uh, Chris says, I've left you an email. Okay, I'll check it out. I'm so bad at responding to those emails. It's always full. So bear with me on that. But thank you for sending. Heather says, I don't feel sorry for pretentious, spoiled, entitled brats. They deserve each other. Exactly, Heather. I feel the same way. Steven says, I think Jen is really Megan and Jay is Harry, but they'll both deny this. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Turn, 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 off the, turn off the stream. Turn it off. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nope, not ever. <laughs> I, even in, in my wildest dreams, I could not think like Megan. It's scary. I don't want to be anything to do with that. I'll be the opposite. Thank you. Uh, KT says, sorry, I forgot to honk, honk, honk. Any word if their titles would be stripped? Not that I'm aware of, but oh, here's hoping, right? It's time. And I always get comments saying, well, then she can be Princess Henry. But I'm sorry, I find that very funny. And to me, it would show even more um, patheticness on both of their parts if that's what they're clinging to. I It just will never not be crazy to me that they just went to Jamaica were posing and and being anti-monarchy while using their titles I mean have you ever seen such hypocrisy out of anybody that's what keeps me riveted well and and then also the biggest hypocrisy to me is just the we're gonna help people we're gonna do things to help people all this stuff you know we're we're here for what global change and all that bullshit and then she's on and on about women's empowerment. And then when it really counts and we find out things have actually been going on, they're nowhere to be found and doing absolutely nothing. Sounds right. 
Oh, goodness. Anyway, uh, sorry to bring it down. But yeah, that was the other thing in the news that I, I'd noticed and wanted to talk about. Here, you say stuff. I've seen a few people. Uh, the most recent one in the chat, Marianne Williams. He's socially inept. He does. He, sorry, it's going away here. Ah, let me finish reading you. He doesn't know how to act because he used to be special and people wanted to talk to him. Nobody cares now, so he has to try to be interesting enough to talk to. I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's like he doesn't know how to act around people. It's so weird. I mean, again, I guess this leads credence to him being sheltered his whole life. Uh, yeah. I guess, you know, to protect him from himself. It's just, I don't know. It's just, it's so weird. I mean, just, I mean, even if you don't like it, just play along. Don't be a freaking butt about it. Hey, what else here? Yeah, everybody keeps talking about the titles too. I mean, I don't, I have no expertise on that it seems like it feels like they're just they're just gonna let them ride i mean mm -hmm. and they're just gonna keep using them because that's all they have like what have they created since leaving other they, yeah. uh, other than drama yeah. i mean it's like it's like you have this charity that's supposed to be generating so much money and you know kids books and tv deals but all you can do is just drag out the in-law shit and just I mean, just call, point fingers and call name, call people names, and in the end, no, people just don't care. They, they're seeing through it. They've seen through it. I mean, it's like we're well beyond that. It's like, what's the, well, to steal a title from, steal a title from one of the books. What's the end game here? Yeah. <laughs> like the real one. Yeah, not the made up one. Yeah, from a plastic. Yeah, I mean, it, it's apparently to crash and burn and go crawling back to King Pa or something. Yeah. I don't know what the plan is. All right. Uh, people are saying they'll throw parties if the title's removed. You and me both. We'll all wear crowns. <laughs> oh, too funny. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it it is. It's like surprising and not surprising, but it is. They're awful, awful people. And and every time we gl get a glimpse into their true selves, it's just, it, it kind of gives me the chills. They're dark, dark, awful people. Um. Speaking of awful people, the sugars, right? Oh, awful stuff. Did you guys watch the Sidley? I know a lot of you did. Did you watch the Sidley Twins interview? I feel really good about that one. Uh, it was on, I think I aired it on, yeah, my day's confused. Was it Friday? I think it went up Friday. No, Thursday. I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> They're lovely. I think it went up Thursday. They're lovely. If you didn't watch it, I do recommend you go watch it because those sugars are nasty. And I didn't realize how awful they were to the twins. They really went after them. So, um, I don't know. I think they're getting more desperate, the twins and Harry and Meghan. And it seems to be when Harry and Meghan get more desperate. I'm sorry. I'm distracted by the picture on the screen. That's too funny. Oh, my gosh. Pointing to Keith. Um, anyway, the, the interview with the Sidley twins was so good. I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm saying they are wonderful. And I'm really proud of that one. And they really went into how awful the sugars have been to them and going after um their religion it, it, it's really it's terrible stuff you know i've said it before we can't stand them we don't wish ill will on them. i don't wish ill will on them i don't i've been very clear about that that's what i mean i don't wish ill will i don't go after the kids they can't help it that their parents are a-holes i go after the idiot parents i <laughs> Um, but I don't wish them ill and that's where the difference is because they get dark and scary and they sent really disturbing messages to the twins and I'm sorry, I'm a triplet now. You don't go after my twins, right? Awful, awful stuff. Jen, will you be doing a six part reading of the bench? Oh my God. Steven, I did that on Patreon and, uh, we got to laughing so hard because we renamed it and moved some letters around and respelled it as the bitch <laughs> we did we did go over it there and kind of laughed about that audrey thank you so much so much for that super and you asked such a good question the same question we're all asking as well why do we get put in youtube jail and get suspended for our comments but not the sugars i don't know i wish i could answer that it's so i mean unfair seems juvenile but i don't know how else to say it. it's unfair i agree that yeah that just jogged my memory this is somewhat related so i'm not i'm not doing this to freaking show my channel but 
So yes, a, a lot of you have uh, subscribed to my new channel, Dr. Bad Bad Speaks, which I appreciate that. This is not an ad. I've noticed, I try to respond to all the comments and it, you know, it's not a big channel, so it's not hard, but it's weird. I've noticed some of the comments are getting hidden from me. Like, like I'm, I'm not notified that I got them. Sometimes I'll, I'll be like, oh, I need to check and see if I did something right on this video and I'll load it up and I'll see, I'll see a comment that, um, you know, I didn't respond to and you know, if you're familiar with YouTube, you, you can filter like, hey, did I respond to all the comments kind of stuff. And they're just like totally going under the radar, like not being, they don't show up in my blocks thing. They're, they're not showing up as offensive. They're just like secret. It's so weird. That's and it's probably easier to notice, you know, on, on mine because, you know, it's not big. So I, uh, you know, I'll go on and there'll be like 10, 20 comments. And, I'm, and then, you know, I'm like, I only saw like half of those. And it's probably because of the whole YouTube jail thing. It's so strange. Oh, let's see. Uh, B. Yeah, right there. B. <clears throat> okay, see. Instead of sugars, let's all refer to them as flabby wieners. <laughs> That's much more appropriate. I like it. Because he's hiding all of your comments. We love David. Say hi, David. Uh, hey, David. Well, I'll be careful what I say. <laughs> Well, you got to quit hitting on people, Jay, right? <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm they sure. I'm not hitting on anybody. They keep showing up at the gym. I'm just trying to work out. And they're like, come do stuff. <laughs> if you guys don't know what we're talking about, if you've missed it, that's the new sugars tactic. They've started coming after Jay and they're saying, they're trying to trip me up and say that they're messing around with Jay to try to get a rise out of me. So what did I say? I slapped Jay on the butt and said, hope you score, buddy. <laughs> He said, no, <laughs> but, uh, no, it, it, I mean, that's to me, I can laugh it off because I'm not, obviously I'm not even kind of concerned. Um, but, uh, that is a new tactic that they're doing. I've had several comments exactly like that saying that they're messing around with Jay and I should know. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> our, our, don't think we live anywhere fancy. We don't. We have a home gym, and by that I mean like a dusty weight set in the corner of a room. Uh, but that's our Jay's. Like, first of all, I don't work out, and second of all, if I did, it's at home. So, who's who am I hitting on? I'm like, oh yeah, he works from home too. So I think we're good. <laughs> but um, Fibro Warriors is here. Hello, CJ. Don't be sorry you're late. We're just glad you're here, Hong Kong friend. Uh, Fibro Warriors is always bringing. Awareness to fibromyalgia, so I'd like to shout out her channel. Can the sugar, Flossie asks, can the sugars be the oscillators instead? Can you say oscillating for us, please, in Harry voice? And also, yikes. My penis is oscillating. My penis is oscillating. My penis is oscillating. That will forever live on. Uh, thank you, TikTok, for burning that in my brain. And also, Harry, for being dumb enough to say such a thing. <laughs> But um, to your point, I'm getting comments saying that your comments are being held. It's so annoying. I have people right now on Twitter tweeting me saying, I try to leave you comments. In fact, somebody might be here in the chat and I can't see it. Um, it just like, I, what's the word? It shadow bans people. So like, I've been on, I do block people that are awful. But other than that, it's fine. You know, I don't, I don't even pay attention. You know, if somebody's comments awful, maybe I'll block them. But otherwise, I just leave it. But um, yeah, this person has been trying to comment and they showed me that it won't let them because for some, re I think she wrote something not toward me, but just like some word that the chat didn't like one time in one of these chats. And ever since then it's banned her and we don't know why. And I've been trying to help her fix it. And it's so annoying because you're right. The sugars can basically write whatever. And then good people are trying to say, you know, like, oh yeah, Harry Meghan stink. And then it, it, it's like that. I'm not trying to go tinfoil hat. It's more censorship and it drives me crazy. Yeah, and YouTube has its own set of filters too. I mean, the, the and I'm just talking about the uh, legitimate ones, like the tone down some of the language and you can adjust it, you know, when you're in charge of a channel to a degree. I mean, there's some stuff YouTube will always throw in the uh, approval bin. But uh, the funny thing I noticed on uh, my channel, I had a lot of comments and thank you for the positive comments. There's like, hey, you have a sexy voice. Apparently, you can't say the word sex without YouTube uh, yeah. throwing it in the approval thing. So mm -hmm. it hadn't occurred to me to even look at that. And I clicked it the other day, and there were like 10 comments <laughs> all said something along that line. And I was like, well, thank you. I'm flattered. And also, why why are these all being held? This isn't 
This isn't dirty talk. So it's the whole comment system's very flawed. Very flawed. <laughs> So real quick, random Eskimo, thank you so much for your super. It says, wouldn't take my super chat. Look for the regular chat. Thank you. And then Audrey has something for Jay. And thank you for the super, Audrey. Let's see. Ask Dr. Babe if I can cast Patreon to my TV. That's a good question. Ah. Uh, Head up and like. I would assume so, but it depends on what you're using. If it's Android, I, I don't really know because everything I have is Apple. But, I, I mean, I would think so. Any kind of video you play should have the option to cast. Worst case, you know, do a screen mirroring. But uh, a tip I give you guys here in this chat, because we don't, you know, care about words and we don't moderate things, but uh, it's auto-moderated. If you're trying to say something here in this live chat, just misspell it. And, uh, and we'll get what you mean. It's okay. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... <laughs> Like, like Jay said, certain words just auto trigger moderation for some reason. We don't know why that is, but KT, thank you so much. Both of you guys have awesome voices. Thank you. So the, I just, I don't, I don't care about my voice. You know what I mean? It's fine. It, there's literally nothing I can do about that. The only time I get really irritated with my own voice is you can tell when I'm upset. You can tell when I'm tired. You can tell when I'm Whatever, because my voice, when I don't feel good, because my voice gives it away. Like right now, I think I sound, I don't know, peppy. But then sometimes when I'm like slogging through some of this stuff and they've they've come after my queen, Her Majesty the Late Queen or uh, Catherine, I get upset and you can hear my voice. But I don't think that's a bad thing. But I think it's more of a low hanging fruit where I don't show myself. They just like, oh, well, then we'll pick on her voice, that sort of thing. So who knows? Who knows? But, um, no. Oh. So Audrey says an iPhone with Chromecast. I don't know. I never tried that. Yeah, let me see if that's a thing. So I'll read comments and then Audrey, he's going to Google it and he'll message or he'll put a message or whatever. I'll hand him back the mic. Thank you so much, Random Eskimo, again for the super. It says YouTube channel, the behavior panel body language i love that guy um i haven't watched the behavior panel but the body language guy's really good um we just watched one of his videos and now i can't remember which one we watched but i think he's really funny i like his sense of humor uh when do you be uh, oh uh, thank you so much lisa asking about me and beads we talked recently we're hoping to record something we we're hoping to record something soon but our schedules cannot match up so we're hoping um <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Just got the best comment. I'm going to read your comment in a second. But I'm hoping to record something with Beebs in the next couple of weeks. We, are, we just can't make our schedules work, but um, she has little kids and I have a kid, so it's just sometimes hard during the day to record. But maybe in February, early February, hopefully. I'm dying to record with her again. Love her so much. She bends, not breaks. You got me with your comment. I'm cracking up. So I just said misspell something if you want to write something in the chat so that way it won't be moderated. And it's, she wrote, what? You guys have a soxy voice. I love it. <laughs> thank you for that. We sound soxy. Oh, thank you, David. David says I sound cute. All right. Thanks. Uh, actually, as a joke, Jay Drew. Hey, send me that photo that you drew me. Don't mind. Jay Drew. Okay, so Jay has Dr. Bad Vibe Speak putting in a plug for his channel. And he is a very talented artist and he draws pictures, usually usually just silly. He'll draw them, I mean, he's drawn them forever. He draws them for me and for the kid to make us laugh. And somebody on chat asked him to draw a picture of me. So he did and it turned out so freaking funny. He's gonna send it to me and I'll post it here in just a second so you guys can see what I look like. Not really, but you can see what I look like. <laughs> Ah, oh, too funny. Um, let's see here. Honesty and Truth says that it's terribly embarrassing. We have such a numpty in America. Agree. Uh, oh, yeah, Elaine is good. She's showing you can use emojis to fill in blanks of certain words. KT is saying, just saying that is incredibly awesome that you guys are real. Hate anyone being afraid to speak out. I know. Thank you so much, KT. I really appreciate that. Brenda, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, Brenda says, it says I'm not a member, Jen. Well, that's super weird. All right. So I'm going to, Jay just sent me a picture. I'm going to set it up. It'll take me a second. So Jay, can you, Brenda is one of our regulars. She, um, I believe she's a member, but it's saying she's not a member. Any ideas on that? Or can you, 
if you want to just read some comments, we'll look into that, Brenda, and see what's going on. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to post this picture that Jay just sent. Yeah, that, that's strange. I have noticed that just in general, the whole YouTube membership thing, very flaky. Um, it's, there's no perfect solution. That's kind of the reason why I started streaming on Twitch rather than YouTube. And now I can simul stream, so I just do both to cover all my bases. But yeah, the, the loyalty programs work much easier on Twitch versus YouTube. But honestly, sometimes... Sometimes it's best just to uh, log into the uh, uh, the desktop site. You know, make sure it's the same account. Like, if you have multiple accounts, that could be part of it. But th that is very strange. I, I don't know what would cause it to, to work on one but not the other. Okay, everybody get ready to look at your screens because you'll see the drawing Jay did. I take issue with this, and I'll explain why. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make it smaller. Don't worry. You guys want to see what I look like? Here we go. Oh God! Hold on, let me fix it. Ah, too funny. Here I, there I am, finally showing myself. I've been revealed. Jay, care to explain yourself? Well, I was doing my news segment, and it was about it was about a lady that had been banned from dropping her kids off at school because of her big OnlyFans ad on her car, which it raises so many questions. It was a small town. Why would you want? Why would you want your neighbors? Even if you, you know, if you want to have an OnlyFans, whatever, that doesn't that doesn't hurt anybody. But why do you want your neighbors to, to be joining it? So that's about the time somebody asked for me to draw a picture of Jen so they could get an idea what she looks like, and uh, I took a little bit of liberty and. You know, kind of slapped one together really fast. I like yeah. that that's what's bugging me. Sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's how she stands. She's very flexible. That's how, I mean, that's a, that's a very natural position for one to stand in. Oh, my God. I could not stop laughing about this. And you know what's funny? The issue I took with this. So, well, let me back up. When Jay found out about the sugar saying that he's meeting them at the gym, his issue he took with it is, I don't work out. Uh, I work out. I mean, I don't go to a gym. I work out at home. So when I saw this, my issue I took with it, I'm not short. You drew my legs really short. It's perspective. <laughs> He's saying it's perspective. I don't, I don't, this is not me. Everybody's resp re responding in the comments thinking this is me. I don't look like this. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I don't have short legs <laughs> and I don't have a baseball mitts in hand. <laughs> Otherwise that's me. No, I'm teasing. That's not me. Oh, too funny. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice peaches. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, everybody's talking about the lack of nose. Yeah, that was yeah. part of the, that was part of the joke. I made it as featureless as possible. Yes. <laughs> I'm a baseball head with boobs. Um, I guess the hair is kind of close. And uh, no. no, not really. You know me at all. Who said that? <laughs> I don't know. Some of the stuff matches. <laughs> <laughs> you have pants? Yeah, I wear yoga pants sometimes, so that's about all I got. <laughs> no, I do not look like this. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. Oh, you guys are cracking up. That's funny. A man's perspective. I know, right? That's why I said he basically drew me, all, drew me as like a baseball head with huge melons. That's that me. <laughs> I was very generous. Yeah. <laughs> Always sunny reference. All right, I'm taking this down. This is not me, but thanks. <laughs> Maybe you can take another crack at that, mister. Uh, I'll draw what Jay looks like sometimes. <laughs> That's funny. Jen, you look like Kim Kardashian. I definitely do not. That's funny. Is this new merch? I know. <laughs> ah, too funny. Ah, you're beautiful. Jay is such a good artist. Thank you. <laughs> I do not look like that. Um, oh, too funny. Oh, you guys are good for my ego, though. Is that new merch? That's funny. Uh, what about my toes? I know. What ha I know. That doesn't seem to matter. I just have giant melons and feet. Or, or not feet, but. <laughs> yeah. I have, yeah. Jay said, you have feet? Oh, God. Too funny. How is your back? Yeah, it's very sore. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and I have long hair too. That's another funny thing. I was like, who, what, what is this? I think it's supposed to be like a soccer mom with giant boobs and butt. I don't know. Yeah. 
I think I, I'd have to go see the replay. I think I literally drew that in like 30 seconds. Yeah, so <laughs> that, that, was the, that was the joke. I made it as featureless, but also featureful uh, yes. to me as possible. <laughs> That's how people stand, right? Yeah. So, hey, check out my OnlyFans. Right. <laughs> and my butt. You know what? I'll work yourself on this. Load it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so while we're streaming, I have him drawing himself on a piece of paper. I'll take a picture and post it in a second. Um, yeah, too funny. Every man's wife, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But I bet you if I asked him what my middle name was, he'd be like, huh? <laughs> oh, too funny. Oh, you guys are good. Um, Jay is a great artist. Weird thumb, right? Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. The AI never gets hands right. It's too, it's too good. Is that the sugar you've been meeting at the gym, Jay? Ooh, good one. That's true. Too funny. Oh, this picture cracks me up too, pointing at the teeth. Um, but the proud lemon says, I wonder what my husband would draw. Well, I just lost your comment, it just went away. Hold on. Wonder what? Oh, your comment just went away. It was something about I wonder what my husband would draw would draw. Well, I challenge you to get him to draw you and see what it looks like, because that would be too funny. Damn Jen, I know. <laughs> you guys should put that on a t shirt. Oh. I came up with an idea um, for merch that Jay is working on that I'm very excited about. And I also came up with an idea for another sticker that I want. So we will get him on that. Um, the Jay on uh, Fiber Warrior, CJ is telling you, Jay on Android, there's a join button on top of the page. Thank you, CJ. Kathy says, please check out Megan at lunch hour new york fashion week she tells us how oh i've actually posted that before kathy thank you yes there is an interview i posted previously i can't remember what the video looked like or what it was called but it was like you won't believe this something like that and it talks about i found an interview where megan had said how important tailoring is that was before she was part of the royal family i believe and uh how funny is that Elaine has been a member of our Drunk Goose Club for three months with a very cute thumbnail as well. Jen and Jay brighten up my day. I feel the same way about each and every one of you. You all brighten up my day, and I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for that. Uh, Proud Royal Lemon says, I am. I will ask him. I have to see how he draw me, LOL. That's a fun challenge for you all. Get your partners to draw you and see how they draw you. Oh, I just glanced at what Jay is drawing. He's working on a drawing right now. I will take a picture and post it when he's done. Did you see that written interview with Megan's former best friend? Her, no, I don't. I haven't seen it. My motivation. Let's see. Proud Lemon is asking what time it is in London. So I'm in Florida. It's 525 here. Or sorry, 530 here. So they're five hours ahead. So it'd be 1030 in London. Is this a pop quiz? Um, Corey says Megan doesn't know what a tailor is. You're exactly right. Isn't that funny? Uh, I, you know, we're just speculating, but other people have pointed out it has to do with returning or borrowing outfits and not being able to tailor them. But I just think, then why wear that? Why not wear a different length? Something like that. I just, that's very odd, right? Um, I feel like there is, oh, I meant to say thank you to No No Germany. It's a funny username. Um, thank you for joining the Drunk Goose Club. I'm so glad you're here. I really appreciate that. All right, people are saying it's 10.30 in London. Oh, time to go to the pubs. Yes, I want to go. Oh, I'm dying to get it back to the UK. We are saving our pennies in hopes that we can get back soon. That is my goal. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, Jay, you read comments. I'm going to, I have to take a picture of this drawing he just did. And then I'll, I can share it on the live stream here so you can see what Jay thinks he looks like. <laughs> Get ready for this. Here you talk. I don't know why you're giggling. Very accurate. You know? But if you are curious, uh, subscribe to Dr. Bad Vibes Speaks or check me out on twitch.tv slash Dr. Bad Vibes. I do stream and I am on camera, so it's, it's no secret what I look like. But I mean, you know, this cartoon is just as, uh, just as good. You can't tell a difference. It's very cold. <laughs> 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 
If we email you the drawings our spouses draw of us, can we share them with you so she can show us? Yes, yeah, here, I'll put it in the chat. rhrcomments at gmail.com. If you will put in the subject line drawings, because that mailbox is like full and I have to sort through a million. So if you just write like drawing in there, I'll know what it is. All right, I'm about to post this picture. I'm getting it now. Everybody hold on to your hats because, and, and remember that he is taken. <laughs> Because you're gonna you're gonna be very excited when you see this photo he drew. Why those geese be like vultures? Oh. Yeah, a a a i. Sometimes it's it forgets the uh, i stands for intelligence. Look at the one of. Oh. oh, it's still. Technology. Yeah. Dart. Sharing that emoji, I had so much fun making. I like that one. Aww. The uh, the goose and the uh, <laughs> the goose and the drop through. Yeah, <clears throat> Jen's. She's got a fancy, fancier phone than mine. It has an issue with fi drop. file airdrop and file extensions. Why, why, why wouldn't you want a JPEG? There we go. Brace yourselves for a masterpiece. It's totally based in reality. <laughs> <clears throat> Hang on to your feathers, ladies and gents. There's Jay. <laughs> this is how Jay thinks he looks. In fact, while we discuss yours, I'm going to give you a blank piece of paper and tell you to take another crack at me. All right. There you go. There you go. What is it? Oh, yeah. There's my, <laughs> there's my husband, everybody. <laughs> Too funny. It says totally accurate. Oh, I feel a little weird showing this to everybody. <laughs> All right. Let's read some of these comments while we laugh at the ridiculous. Oh, everybody's rolling on the floor laughing. Why am I getting censored? Oh, I don't know. So annoying. Uh, dude. Oh, my God. That's how he looks at the gym. That's right. Pecs on you. I know. They look like pepperonis. Um, thank you, Nancy DVI for the super. I really appreciate it. Sherry says, oh dear, sexy. I like it. LOL. Oh, people are laughing. Oh my God. Love it. Hunk of a man. Honk, honk. That's pretty cool. So now I have him. Uh, oh, that's funny. Uh, Lauren says we look like, uh, you look like John Cena. I always make that joke. <laughs> you can't see me. Dun, 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 dun. Um, we make the John C <laughs> David just said nice tits, Jay. Honk, honk. <laughs> he says honk honk, David. Um, <laughs> too funny. He just he draws silly. So that's a funny story. When we were dating, we used to go, you know, we'd go out to eat, and he always drew silly pictures for me on the takeout boxes. So that's been a thing in our relationship since day one. So he just he makes me laugh. He leaves me silly drawings around the house. So uh, I never know what's going to be drawn on what surface. So. <laughs> he just likes to make me laugh with these drawings and he does silly cartoon-esque drawings. Jay needs to see a doctor. Yeah, maybe. Um, oh, thank you, Donna. I don't think anybody's perfect, but I appreciate that so much. Red Squirrel. Okay, you're talking to him. Uh, Victoria says, go to, yeah, Dr. Bad Vibes speaks. He, he's actually on camera, so you can see what he actually looks like and how silly this is how about that actually. yeah <laughs> he says what do you mean actually my apologies i'm sorry this is totally actually i mean totally um realistic it's basically a photograph please read the sarcasm in my voice all right nice budgie smugglers we just learned about those i love it nice build yeah <laughs> ah too funny there's a toe missing oh you're right that's the issue with this drawing there's a toe missing hubba hubba ah too funny i'm gonna take that down in case anybody's feeling a little bit nauseated. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, too funny. Oh, thank you, Lauren. 
Uh, that's a better Valentine. Oh, that's nice. Shell says that's better than a Valentine once a year. Yes, I love the drawings. Look how many hands she has. I just realized. Sorry, I just saw the picture that popped up on the screen. How many hands do you guys see? Oh, and one pant leg goes all the way down and the other one does not. That's funny. All right. Um, thank you so much, Lauren. Y'all are the cutest. I appreciate that so much. And um, Jay is drawing me right now, and I'm afraid to think of what he is drawing and how that's going to go. But in the meantime, how are you guys? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, still no news, not to bring it. I mean, well, I, I want to get into more news on Harry and Meghan, but it's hard to transition. I'm looking at his drawing and cracking up. So we'll do his drawing and then we'll get into more of predictions on Harry and Meghan. How about that? In the meantime, how are you all? Tell me what. What's going on? How are you doing? Proud Royal Lemon. I love your name, by the way. That's great. It says, looks like a young Rick from Rick and Morty. You're speaking Jay's language. He loves that. That nerdy stuff. Oh, oh boy. I'm All right. In, in Woo! All right. He's drawn me now. You answer comments. I'll get this posted. Get ready to see it. It looks just like me. Everybody's taking issue with the leg length. Oh, yeah. <laughs> His feet are more attractive <laughs> than the other ones. Uh, funny. funny. <laughs> totally accurate drawings. Oh. Uh, yeah, I like that Jen's main complaint was like, you didn't make the legs long enough. It, mm -hmm. She is six feet tall. I'm not, I'm not uh, negating that. Somebody said my legs look short. I'm six foot two, so mm -hmm. I I think the rest of me is just so muscular it uh, makes it makes them look uh, shorter than what they are. Just... Yes. <laughs> Jen is uh, she just I drew this. I don't have my iPad with me, so uh, yeah, she's she's gonna put them together. She's I actually did it on paper like a barbarian, so. Uh, Jen's taking photos and ear dropping them. <laughs> so weird. AI has the biggest problem with limbs, fingers. Hey, Midnight Aura, thanks for joining us. The. Hell rules. Guys, I love you. Beth, go to bed as it's after midnight next week. I'll be traveling to London. Hope you get too soon. Aww. Bye. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good evening. I've just logged in, so I'm listening from the beginning. I love your videos, Jen. You're so cool. Yeah, that, that is the biggest benefit about YouTube. If you join late, you can start watching whenever you want. It's like, you know, it's immediately a video on demand. I think Twitch used to do that, but they, they stopped it years ago. But they always show up, you know, even if you totally miss a live stream, you can go back and rewatch it and the chat's still there. You can't interact, but you can still read it. Doing a Photoshop job here. <laughs> well, I mean, combi combining them, not, not altering. Yeah. I guess the, the speech balloons are colliding. Oh, I can... <laughs> That's not accurate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Making art here. She's uh, about to airdrop it here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh, Marianne, hey, have a good evening also. <laughs> Has been his three arms. Yeah, it's... We've tried multiple different AI programs, and I feel like the one I'm using is the worst. I try to get it to do basic things to help with thumbnails, and it's just like, oh, you want somebody just, you know, Sitting in an airplane, here's some nightmare monster man screaming. <laughs> totally not what you asked for. 
I'm here and here's our reveal. There we are. In case you wondered what we look like. <laughs> Uh, also not what we look like, but thank you for that. <laughs> I know I had to make his shorters to fit in the screen, but I, I tower over Jay. No, uh, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's us in case you wondered what we look like. <laughs> I'm laughing because we're like the Walmart version of these people, but yeah, there's us. <laughs> Everybody's reacting to it in the comment. Well done, Jay. Thank you for that. Are my comments showing up? Yes, they are. CJ, I can see you. Oh, goodness. Uh, LOL, turkey teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, where are your eyes? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> wow. Uh, too funny. That's better. That's us. Yeah, now you all know. That's right. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> we need this picture as a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Except for you'll be so disappointed when you meet me in real life. You'll be like, wait, that's not, <laughs> that's not the drawing. <laughs> You're not the drawing. Oh, Shell says, lovely honkers there, Jay. Better hair. There you go. <laughs> Great drawing. Ah, oh, that's funny. That's like the time cover. Oh, my gosh. I should have him standing behind me like the hairdresser. That's right. Oh, too funny. Oh, so sorry, Hazy. Made her spit out or made you spit out the hot chocolate. Too funny. Lexi says, hey, my phone will not charge, but I had to say hi. I'm so glad you're here, Lexi. Long time no, no talk. I hope you're doing well. You have a nose, Jen. I know. He finally gave me a nose. But uh, yeah, if you're just joining, uh, you want to know what I look like. Here we go. <laughs> honk, honk. That's me. <laughs> and am I wearing slippers? Why not? Uh, Aussie Walks, thank you so much. Uh, Aussie Walks says you're such a fun couple. We appreciate that so much. Wildcat says put that on a t-shirt. Too funny. Thank you. Daisy says, just the way I pictured you, LOL. Yes. I said, I kind of look like D from Always Sunny a little bit. Not in real life, but in the drawing there. It's kind of funny. Shut up, bird. Shut up, bird. That's right. Uh, Ruth says, have you got those blue hygiene things on your shoes? It looks like it, doesn't it? It's funny. <laughs> Jay's wearing a diaper and I'm wearing those, um, yeah, I don't know what they're called. The sterile flipper things. Booties. Booties yes. Uh, Lexi says, watching on mom's tablet. Well, hello. I'm so glad you're here. So, mom, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Jay says, sorry. He just drew this. Lulu. Okay. So you're talking to somebody else. Snark Bark Hark says, would love this t-shirt. Add a moon bump. Oh my God. Oh, too funny. Um, let's see here. Animal says, when you come to the UK, I'll recognize you now. Aw, I'm dying to go to the UK. That is what I'm working on. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to make it there. And, uh, yeah, it just, I have to plan around kids school and save up money for that, but I'm dying to go back. Yes. Hopefully soon. That's funny. I have people in the comments I just had, and I meant to respond. If you're here, somebody on Patreon messaged me and say, Hey, I'll be in Jacksonville in a few weeks. I'll be walking around stores listening for your voice. I just thought that was so funny. I was like, well, I'm at target a lot. Maybe you'll hear me there. I don't know. <laughs> Ah, uh, Tina says, I love Sunny, my favorite show, bird. So Tina, you'll get this then. Do you know what these drawings originated from? I mean, Jay always drew me pictures. It still does draw me pictures, but he, do you remember the episode in the therapist's office where Dennis drew the picture Who, of him and the therapist, right? Yeah. And uh, so Jay likes to draw that picture for me. If you know, you know. Uh, Jan says, I just woke up from a nap. Glad to catch you live. Well, honk, honk, Jan. You finally get to see the reveal. This is apparently what I look like, according to my husband. <laughs> and that's what he looks like. <laughs> ah, too funny. Goodness gracious. Um, Mary says, listening to you too. Your vibe is wonderful. How did the sugars ever think they could get between you? Oh, thank you so much. I'm not, I'm so not bothered by it. That's why I bring it up more to show the tactics where they're stooping to. I don't. I think it's to one bother me, but also to bring back up the accusations against William, Prince of Wales. Um, yeah, who would clean the dishes? Uh, oh, yes, that's it. That's the episode. Who would do the dishes? Remember, they dumped the dishes on the floor. That's oh, right. Yeah. That is right. Uh, is it Ivana says, you two seem like a lovely couple. Thank you so much, Jen. You'll have to go into shop shouting honk honk. 
I, I'm hoping that one of these days my channel gets so big that I can spot one of my lovely geese or ganders in the wild. How cool would that be? But I am still hoping to do some sort of meetup at some point in the UK somewhere. I don't know. Figure that out. But that's on my to-do list as well. I meant to tell the Sidley twins I want to travel to England or somewhere or somewhere in the UK with them. Uh, and I'll get Jay up there too. And the four of us will get up on stage and just like have fun and answer questions. I don't even want it to be formal. I don't even mean a stage. I mean, we'll just all sit in a pub and answer questions and have some sort of meetup. How cool would that be? I keep thinking about this. Um, the proud lemon says like Jay would want a dirty gym rat over you. Oh, that's funny. Thank you. Look at me. Yeah. No, don't look at this picture and think that's me. That's not me. That's funny. Here you talk. You're the artist. <laughs> well, I, just, I just saw this pop up. The, uh, the greater Bilby. I don't usually comment, but I just have to say how much Jay's drawing looks like one of her ex prime ministers here in Australia. Oh, that is funny. That's how he used to go jogging sometimes. Can you? I, I, oh have, to, I have to Google that in a minute. That's oh. funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a time to join if you're just now hopping on. Sorry. Yeah. Th these are not accurate. Uh, uh, I, I'm not that short. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's He's the not that's, short, not a... that's that's the only thing. I'm I'm not that short. Uh, but I don't want yeah. rented tube tops. That's yeah, yeah. I don't think Jen owns a tube top. Come no. to think of it, but that's something I've been doing on my streams lately. I usually have my I'll plug in my iPad, and you can see me draw live in the app I usually use. On the <laughs> and that uh, you can see that on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash Doctor Bad Vibes. And I simul stream on YouTube. It depends on what I'm doing. It's usually Doctor Bad Vibes speaks, unless I'm doing video games. Then it's Doctor Bad Vibes. But it's all on Twitch and it's all on demand if you miss it. And um, I've had a few people actually, yeah, let me, let me throw this plug in real quick. If, uh, <clears throat> if you're not familiar with Twitch, but uh, you don't mind making an, an account, uh, if you have Amazon Prime, that actually gives you a free um, subscription to uh, one user on Twitch. Uh, subscription is different on Twitch. It's like a paid thing. So if you have Amazon Prime and you make an account on Twitch, uh, look me up, Dr. Bad Vibes, and you can use your Prime sub to subscribe to me. Uh, you can put it on a recurring basis, if you, especially if you're not a Twitch user, because you're not going to notice. It's free, and it actually uh, helps supports my channel. It uh, helps quite a bit. So if you, if you feel like doing that, if you can, and again, that's if you have Amazon Prime, I'd really appreciate that. I've had one so far. Yeah, Hong Kong Kimberly, shout out to Stefan. <laughs> That's uh, I really appreciate that. And, and again, when uh, when this stream ends, I'll probably hop on my stream. I'm, I'm just going to do. Uh, it's kind of unplanned. I'm just going to finish a video game, so that'll be on Twitch. On yeah, hit on some sugars at the gym. No, but that'll be on Twitch and YouTube afterwards. Oh, Natalie, what games do you play? It's it varies. I mainly play old stuff. Um. What I've been doing lately, I've kind of gotten into retro achievements. If you're not familiar with that, it's people have programmed basically a uh, a way to monitor old games. So, like, say if you, you know, you, you grab the mushroom in Super Mario or, or or beat a certain game under certain conditions, you earn points, and it puts you on a leaderboard on the website retro achievement retroachievements.org. So, I've been going through some of my favorite games, and it's kind of addictive. And that's probably what I'll be doing today. I mainly play fighting games, like older ones. So I'm going to finish X-Men versus Street Fighter today. If you're a Marvel fan, uh, you should check that out if you haven't heard of it. It's the it's based on the 90s X-Men cartoon, so it looks really cool. Shell wants to know if her prime thing worked because she tried to do that and then um gorilla paid you a compliment sorry it's gorilla bff says that she watched the die hard video often while cooking so she can't comment but she said it's one of her favorite christmas ones i love that video of his but i love that movie too kt with a super the five supers thank you so much that's so nice you're so generous i really appreciate that yeah. well thanks thanks for watching that yeah and I do post videos on Dr. Bad Vibes Speaks. That's, um, you know, on video, I speak I'm on camera. Uh, the Die Hard one's probably the one I put the most effort into. I want to try to get that channel rolling. If it gets to a point where I can focus on it more or even full-time, part-time, I could do more effort. Uh, or, you know, 
uh, better looking videos, more more editing and stuff. Um, I guess, if you want to check it out now, if you have any interest, I guess the one that's getting the most traction now, if you if you have any interest or knowledge of pro wrestling, you may be aware of Vince McMahon and the allegations that have come up against him. And it's really starting to snowball. I, I was going to just make one video as a one-off, like, like, ooh, look at this. But uh, it's getting so much bigger, I think I may do a follow-up video on it because a lot of stuff has come out in the past two days. So there's that. And then also the Die Hard video. I think that one, still, that one's visually, that one's my favorite. I got to play with some of my editing tools. And it's kind of my goal. I just want to make silly videos with like, you know, silly visual gags. And sometimes drawing. I like to draw on stream occasionally. I'll just say, hey, what do you want? <laughs> and then we'll do things like this that are totally accurate. CJ is. Um, <clears throat> asking for the picture to go back up so she can see it. So it's back up. It's just so silly. Um, let's see here. Kelly says, Jen, you retweeted one of my tweets today. Oh, that was you. I love your tweets. You felt like a superstar. Oh my gosh. Well, you are a superstar. I love your tweets and I'm happy to do that. And I think it's even cooler when I don't realize who you are or you know anything like that and i see a tweet like that and it means so much then i try to ret retweet it so that's so cool that that's you awesome yay well you are a superstar and i love your tweets um somebody had asked me to put the picture back up that's why it's on the screen i'll uh i'll take it back down in a second so you can see the ai photos but yeah there's us people are asking for a meet and greet i would love to do that if i could figure out logistics it's just hard only because this sounds so weird but we have some people in america some people over in the UK, so I don't know where where to do that or how to do that. So uh, it's a logistics thing, but I'm down. I'm open for it. You know what else I keep thinking about? And I, I know, I'm sorry. I talk about this on all my lives, but it's just something that keeps playing in my head. I really want to make a travel channel. It's hard for us to take the big trips, you know, because we have to save up our money and stuff. But um, so that's why it's it'd be hard to do a lot of content. But I keep thinking it, next time we go to the UK, I could film some stuff just walking around and kind of talk through it. I do have a second channel set up. And I know a lot of you have subscribed, but there's not really content on it. So I need to get on that. But I keep thinking about that. Traveling is my passion if you're new here. And so if it's um, if it, if it was something that could become more of a thing in my life, oh, I'd, I'd love it. So I keep thinking about that. I keep thinking, Jay's got me inspired because he started his second channel, the Dr. Bad Vibe Speaks, and you guys have been so supportive of it. Thank you for that. That I keep thinking, I want to make a travel channel. So do comment if that's something you would watch and something you're interested in. And you do not have to just be nice to me. If you're not into it, I get it. You don't have to, it's okay. Um, but, uh, but if that's something you would be interested in, please let me know. All right. Uh, I'm reading comments. Do you have anything you want to say? Oh, let's see. I'm just looking at a few here. But yeah, it's the amount of support. I mean, I just show up on Jen's channel and say dumb stuff. So I really appreciate all the support that I've gotten from this community just for showing up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the new channel, it's, you know, it's still, you know, I'm still working on it, but it's, uh, it's growing faster than my original game channel did. It's, uh, I've, I've been very surprised. I mean, I've still got a ways to go before I'm like a full, full on, uh, you know, YouTube partner, as they say, but, um, yeah, every, every view helps and I appreciate every one of them. I'm trying to get, trying to get on a schedule. So I at least have something go up every other day. It's, uh, it's a bit of a challenge filming it and being able to do it while having a job. But, uh, I, I, I think I've kind of hit a cadence where I can do that. I've been uh, keeping up on. I don't think I'm. I'm not at the point where I can do it every day, but at least not yet. But the lives. I've been doing a live like once a week. That's generally Thursday night. You know, tentatively where I'm going to keep it if I can. But it's you know it's hard to say. But hey, if things get better. I, if if, if uh, the support keeps coming, I'll uh, I'll do even more. If I could do that full time, that'd be the dream job, right? Then you could stop hitting on sugars at the gym. <laughs> I don't know how they keep getting in the house. The windows shut, the doors are locked. I'm not letting them in. <laughs> so sweet. Um, I've gotten so many good comments that you would watch a travel channel of mine. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's do this. Jay, 
will you post the link to my second channel, my backup channel? There's like nothing on there right now. I think I posted TikToks like a year ago, over a year ago um, on there, but we'll post the link and then maybe I'll just start. Uh, people said they'd like to see our Disney trip. We go to Disney, you know, we're only like two hours away. So we go there when we can. It's so expensive, but we try to go when we can. So I could do some Disney stuff. And then uh, Marilyn had such a good idea that you guys could send me potentially like walking around your hometowns and share something like that. I don't know. I, I love all these ideas. I'd have to kick it around, but um, thank you so much everybody for being so lovely. I appreciate it. Uh, it's just something I keep thinking about it. I, I, it's so, it's so, it's so me. It's so silly, but I love to encourage other people to follow their dreams. And here I am like, I want to do it, but I don't know if I should do it. So <laughs> I just haven't really done it, but I need to, you know, what I'm talking about that second. Oh, um, at, it, I think it's at real recap second, or the, the two at, sorry. um, Jay's getting the link to the second channel. So he'll post that if you guys feel like, um, subscribing to that, just that would help and I'll kick it off from there and I'll start. I like the idea somebody had, cause we do, he, Jay does have to travel some for his work. So sometimes we end up like, I don't know, around Dollywood and stuff. I could show you around that and, you know, different areas like that. If you guys are interested. KT says, for sure a travel channel. Well, KT, you're stuck with me no matter what I do. So tough, tough luck, lady. No, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Enjoying the Jen and Jay show. Thank you, Ian, so much for being here. Wheezy says beach. I could definitely do that. We're not too far from one. So thank you. Our beach here isn't pretty. We do like to go over on the other coast of Florida, uh, the West Coast, it's more of like, I don't know, what, Destin and, and different areas like that where it's like blue, blue water. I could show you that. Uh, Fibro said, oh, you're talking to Ivana. And then KT says, you did an incredible job for the coordination. Oh my gosh, thank you. I don't feel like we did. Thank you. I got um, people saying, why are you so wobbly? It's because I'm not used to walking and filming. That's new for me. And I didn't want to be rude and put a camera on people's faces that are just there to celebrate coronation. So I kept raising it up. I have to work on that to not, sh you know, to not put camera in people's faces. So I will work on it and get better. But I appreciate the compliment, KT. You're wonderful. Thank you. Oh, Jay just posted the link. I will pin that. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. You know what? I really appreciate that. Uh, Ivana says, I love Dolly. Oh, I am such a Dolly fan. Me too. She's wonderful. Isn't she? Uh, yeah. And then Wheezy Squeezebox saying, never seen Dollywood. Oh, I could definitely show you that. I think Jay may be going there for work. I can't say exactly when. Yeah, just at some point in the next few months. So, uh, I can definitely work out a day trip to Dollywood. I'm always down to do that. And, um, oh, maybe film it a little bit. If you guys have an interest in that, I love rides i love i don't know, theme parks walking around stuff like that i think it'd be really fun if you guys would watch it i would do it thank you honk honk everybody you guys are always so supportive and so good for my ego i want you to know how much that means but i know what you guys come here for not all of you but some of you come here for the harry and megan of it all oh thank you to everybody who's saying that they just subscribed thank you thank you um uh, I know you come here for the Harry and Meghan of all, so we can circle back to them and talk about them if that's what you want to do. Tell me what you think their next move will be. We know about the we know about the whistler of it all. Obviously, they're not speaking up on the parks, which I get so disgusted by that whole situation. Uh, I'm not trying to bring down the mood, but I do. It's a serious topic, and so it, it really bothers me the whole situation. Um, on a side note, that is something that has come out of this, again, with the sugars. I've kind of been looking into what they have to say because I was like, how could they possibly defend Harry and Meghan on this Parks thing? It's not, well, they're always defending them. I wouldn't say it's defending them. It's more of, they've called it dignified silence. Please read the tone of my voice of how awful that is. That is not... Dignified silence. That is n that is ignoring a problem and promoting yourself. That's what I think. <sighs> All right. I don't want to get too dark. Let me read some of these comments. Wanda says, Dolly gives a free book monthly. Yes, we signed up for that too. It doesn't matter where you are. I think, I know at least for America and Canada, it might be all over. 
um, when you're, you can sign up for, for a child and, and she'll send you a book each month. How cool is that? And then I remember, um, didn't they have, they had it like at fires up there or something like that. It was awful. And, and I know she stepped in to help and then she helped with the thing that YouTube doesn't like to be mentioned, that pandemic, the pandy that went around. She, she helped with that. I think she's a wonderful person. Back. Yeah. Shay calls it the Backstreet Boys concert. That's what, uh, Game Grumps, this is a YouTube channel we watched called it, and I thought that was really funny. Uh, Jillian says, honk, honk, I'm new and I love your channel. Well, Jillian, I love when people say that. Thank you so much. I'm just so glad you found me and that you're here. It means so much to me. Um, Tina says, free books is so dolly. Isn't that wonderful? I, I always tell Jay, it's funny, I'm never looking to be like famous. I think that's silly. That's not something to strive for. Uh, or infamous like Harry and Megan, but how cool would it be? I always said if we could be in a position to really do some good like that, you know, to help out people, to uh, kids and animals are the things that are most near and dear to my heart. So that sounds wonderful. So let's let's grow this channel huge so I can help out kids and animals. I think that's just such a cool thing that she does, and she I hear she does things anonymously quite a bit because she doesn't always want the credit and you know what you know who else i think about when i say that princess anne the princess royal i love her so much and i've heard that she often likes to do things anonymously or with as little fuss as possible um because it's it's not about recognition it's about doing the right thing and doing good for the world and i think that's just so cool and i could only strive to be that wonderful um yeah. Uh, and Ivana says, yeah, Dolly really loves her fans. She does. I, we've been to Dollywood a couple of times. Again, it's just whenever we can, if Jay has to go up there for work, that area, um, we try to go to, we've been to Dollywood a couple of times. And so, uh, we've always wanted to be there when she's there. We haven't been able to time that out. Right. Oh, Annalise Art. I listen to you and, uh, Jen every day. Thank you so much for that. I, I just can't tell you what that means to me. I couldn't do this without you all. I would be talking to myself, which I did for a long time. So thank you. Elizabeth says, I love your channel. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, on a funny side note, that is something I've gotten a couple of times lately from the sugars. They get really pissed off because, and this is so silly, but I've gotten a bunch of comments. I should have saved them. I didn't where they say that I'm, I'm too thankful to, I say too, thank you too many times. You know what? Fuck that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because I know what you guys do for me. I know you don't have to be here. You don't have to comment. You don't have to subscribe, but you do. And, and I will never stop thanking you. So thank you. Thank you for that. Dr. Oh, Dr. Pad vibes. I know who you are. Princess Hi. Anne. Yeah. The gorilla says princess Anne had to make her majesty so proud. Dolly is awesome. They, she is. And she, she is awesome. And princess Anne is awesome. And that's something that sticks with me too, that I like to bring up. Uh, again, I, I'm so sorry. I get the books confused, but I read, um, revenge. I think it was in revenge. They talk about how Harry really, and you could see it in his own book spare. He kind of talks about, it. um, Harry has a problem with princess Anne and he likes to almost like belittle the work that she does. He basically, he was calling out that she's often named one of the hardest working Royals and her number of engagements and said, he didn't specifically say her, but to me, it was pretty clear he was talking about her and basically said her numbers are, or the numbers are padded, allegedly. Uh, but uh, I'm calling bullshit. We've we've heard how uh, Harry and Meghan would count their numbers as going to polo matches. Come on, you know? Really? You're going to talk about anybody else's work ethic? Really, dick shit? Dip shit? I, was, I was trying to say dickhead and dipshit, and I just said dick shit. <laughs> That's a new one. Why? Apologies. Oh, goodness. Oh, KT says she laughs every time I say I talk to myself. I do. I just had somebody write me asking me for tips on starting YouTube. I tell everybody who wants to start to YouTube, do it. Just know that it takes me like a year of talking to myself before somebody started listening. So uh, Liz says saying thank you is a common courtesy. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Liz. I feel the same way. It's never meant to be saccharine or, or syrupy sweet. It's just how I feel. Feel. And honestly, I was raised that way. Sometimes my parents listen to these stream. Oh God, they're going to get a big head. I have good parents and they were, they always taught me you say thank you. And that's why I say I appreciate that because I don't know how else to tell you. I appreciate that. <laughs> it means so much to me. 
Thank you so much. I'm going to let Jay talk for a second and I'm going to write some down real quick. Here you go. Yeah. So, uh, again, if you want to subscribe to Jen's second channel, the link is pinned at the top of the chat. I had trouble looking it up. Like everything I searched, oh. the way it, you know how I finally got your link? Oh, oh she's in YouTube jail on that channel. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, okay. I need to get out of YouTube. Yeah, you probably have to post more videos to do that. Yeah. But yeah, I had to, I had to, I, I had to go into my uh, my browser and go th down through my subscriptions till I found it, and that's the only way I got the link to come up. I forgot. I I'm in YouTube jail because I haven't posted over a year, and they sent me a letter saying, "Hey, nothing's happening here, so it's probably hard to find me." I didn't even think about that. Sorry, guys. Hopefully, I can get something posted soon. We have special guests. We have a special guest joining us. We would like to say hello to everybody. Would you like to say hello to everybody? Hi. Hey, honk, honk. Honk, honk. And tell everybody who you are. The Gosling. The Gosling is here and wants to say hello. Can you say hello with a British accent? Yeah. Hello, Ganda. Hey, thank you for being on my mommy's stream. Thank you for being on my mommy and dad's um, stream. Good job. Um, let's see here. So do you want to uh, say your favorite thing to say? Fish and chips. <laughs> That's my voice. Yeah. Oh, she wants to, her favorite Disney character is Stitch. So she would like to talk to you all like Stitch. So here she goes. Hello, this is Stitch. I love Stitch. He's my best friend. <laughs> Oh, so cute. She's saying hello as Stitch. Um, they want hello. us to go to Disney sometime and maybe film walking around. Would you like to go back to Disney sometime? Definitely. <laughs> I want to ride Tron again. She says yes, and she wants to ride the rides. And then they want us to go to Dollywood sometime. Oh, yeah, Dollywood. I, I also kind of forgot. Yeah, but I love like it. to go to Dollywood. We really like Dolly Parton, right? Yes. Got a book the other day about Dolly Parton. Oh yeah, she picked out a book from the. I forgot about that. She picked out a book from the library all about Dolly Parton. How cool is that? But uh, everybody's saying honk honk, a little Gosling, and good day, Gosling. Can you say good day to our Australian friends as well? Yes, good day. Good day, mates. Good day, mates. <laughs> Too funny. Thank you, Gosling. <laughs> she says bye bye. Thanks for. Thanks for that little guy. I didn't know she was going to make an appearance. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, that's funny. Tracy says, my granddaughter wants Stitch as her middle name. Yeah, she's all of a sudden obsessed with Stitch. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't even know if she's actually watched any of the movies. <laughs> so it's like, okay. But I think Disney knew what they were doing when they designed that character. Because I've noticed a lot of kids are really into it. And it's very possible that none of them have watched <laughs> anything. But hey, whatever. Like what you like. Thank you, Jay, for sharing my channel. And thank you, Jay just shared his second channel. Aw, KT. Thank you. That is uh, money for the little gosling. That is so sweet. Thank you, KT. I will get her something with Stitch that she can cuddle. And I'll say it's from... Her friend, KT. That's very sweet. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Jennifer reminding everybody, great name, by the way, reminding everybody to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Uh, Helen says she sounds like an angel. She is. Patrick is here. Honk, honk. And good day. Oh, he says boing, boing from Australia. Hi, Patrick. Patrick, you missed it, bud. Uh, there's been a reveal. And you're here now. Would you like to see? Um, by the way, I should, I should announce that... Um, the Gosling went back upstairs, so she won't be able to see this. But uh, would you like to see what Jay and I look like? Jay has drawn us. Here we go. <laughs> There's Jay and I, in case you're wondering what we look like. <laughs> Patrick, don't say anything weird. <laughs> oh, Kathy says pure joy. Thank you for that. Liz says she sounds like a great kid. She is. Thank you. And Crispy says support your local bookstores. Absolutely. I worked in a bookstore for a very long time. Well, they're with you there. Elaine says clicked on Jay's link for his channel. Thank you, Elaine. 
Uh, is it Ran Ranji? Rangi says, how gorgeous your own little gosling. All the best wishes. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, Wheezy Squeezebox says, Stitch is my youngest son's favorite. Yep, she's really into Stitch all of a sudden. Liz just gifted a five Real Housewives recaps memberships. Thank you for that. Uh, Patrick is cracking up by our very realistic drawing wow. <laughs> of Jay and I. <laughs> Marilyn, thank you for being here. We really appreciate that. Um, Honesty and Truth says, Princess Anne could wrestle a polar bear and win. You are right. I'm, she is one of my personal faves. I'm going to take back this picture of Jay and I because I can't pay attention while I show that. Oh, then we're met with this picture. She's one of my faves, and I totally agree with you. She's wonderful, isn't she? She seems great. And then uh, that's what inspired our Not Bloody Likely. Love her. Uh, KT. Oh, yeah. Yeah. KT saying, Patrick, glad you made it. Good day. Patrick is one of our friends from Australia. How's your library lady? Oh, she's good. We love her. She's really good. Thank you. She, in case you guys are like, what's he talking about? Um, she helped me get a copy of Endgame. So that way I didn't have to buy it and I could promptly drop it back off. And instead of the money I would have spent on that book, I gave her a gift card and she was really sweet about it. She was surprised. So thank you, Patrick, for bringing that back up. You're right. Um, Lisa says that's a really good pick. Yeah, too bad it's not us, but yes, thank you. <laughs> I love this live. I need the laughter. Thank you, Wonderland. I feel the same way. You guys bring so much laughter to my life, and thank you for that. Elaine says, I've taken my painkillers off to bed. Thank you, Elaine, for being here. Sounds like fun. <laughs> I want to take some painkillers and slip into bed. Uh, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Hope you're feeling okay. And then Ivana says, okay, we're off to Costco. We'll pick up some stuff for us too, Ivana. <laughs> I love Costco. <laughs> Thanks, Ivana, for being here. I really appreciate it. Duchess Sophie, yes. Did you guys see the new pictures of Sophie? Looking gorgeous. Jay, you read comments. I'm going to pull up a picture of Sophie because we just got new photos of Sophie. <clears throat> yes. Patrick says, I convinced my dad after so many years to be a monarchist. Ha, ha, ha. Princess Anne needs to help King Charles stay strong with his nose to Harry. King Pa needs to learn king to be King No. I was hoping that when uh if Princess Anne was in charge when King Charles was recouping, that she would do something like strip their titles all of a sudden or something. Oh, uh Don brings up a good point. Wonder if the Princess Royal will release Hank's money at forty or if she'll make him wait longer. Yeah, I mean, only, only they. I, I mean, that's only something they would know. But that would be funny if they're just yes. like, yeah, it's like as long as you're being the way you're being, you you don't get anything. Yeah. And that's probably fair. Well, not probably. It would be. I mean, yeah. it'd be more fair to donate it to charity, a real charity. Pat says, Hong Kong from snowy Colorado. I didn't even look at the weather. I guess it's probably is a, a big snowstorm coming into the country again. I mean, obviously not here, yeah. but <laughs> we don't. We're, that's foreign to us. Yeah. The stripping titles. It takes an act of parliament. It's not a short process. I'm sure. I know, but Princess is all yeah. Princess Anne be like, do it. And they're like, okay. <laughs> that's how she, I, I assume that's how she talks. Yeah. <laughs> see. Lori in Louisiana having a, having a very rainy Mardi Gras today. I didn't even know that. I guess I didn't even know Mardi Gras was today. Well, have fun. <laughs> I was hoping to pull the pictures of Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh. Can't Anne find it. Oh, somebody in the comments saying Anne has moved it to 45. I have no idea how this works. Oh, thank you, Yvonne. Same to you. Have a wonderful weekend. Have fun at Costco. Thank you for being here. Um, I don't know how that works. So I love that idea. I truly don't know how that works, I'm sure. I mean, if anybody could do it, Anne could do it. How about that? I just got a coffee, so I'm going to read that aloud. And if you don't know what that is, that's a... Tip cup, would you say? Beverage. Oh, he said it's a hot beverage. Yeah, you're a hot beverage. <laughs> Tell of your sex tape. 
Oh, too funny. All right, let me refresh this so I can say thank you to whomever just did the coffee. Lori says thank you both. Thank you, Lori, for the coffee. We really appreciate that. And then um, looks like I missed Tim Tree Frog yesterday with the coffee. Thank you so much. I will write you both back in the comments. But thank you so much for the coffee. Uh, that is a separate tip jar and. Listen, you do what you want to do. I totally get it. You can either give through YouTube here or the the reason I put that coffee one up is they don't take anything out of the tip. That's why. But whatever you want to do, I appreciate. Nothing is expected. Everything is appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, Elaine in the comments. It's another comment saying that they heard that Prince Dan moved it. Uh, oh. yeah. okay, that what, what? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That means I gotta stay married to this one for a few more years because she's not going until I get that inheritance money. Please give me money. The dishes won't catch. All the dishes are broken. I can't eat. Eating broken plates. Are half the people here from Australia? It does seem like that, but hey, Australia's cool. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, at some point I'd like to do a meet and greet in the UK and we're also dying to go to Australia. So maybe we could do one there too and say, good eye. <laughs> I can't even attempt an Australian accent. Jay, would you like me to put on the spot and do an Australian accent? Get on my friend Patrick here with your Australian accent. No, that's a wife. Yeah. <laughs> put another shrimp on the barbie, eh? <laughs> Extra arm, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> With weird giant hands. Yeah. <laughs> I, do love, I do love Mountain Dew. Yeah, uh, Australia has always been on my to do, well, to visit list. Uh, my brother got to go a long time ago. I, I think like 2001, I believe. And I could have gone, but I had too much going on that summer. But uh, yeah, he had, a, he had a blast. And I've always wanted to go since. Someday. Well, guys, we've been at this for two hours, so I guess we will wrap this up. But I really can't thank you enough for coming out to chat with us. It means so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Hi, Ritz. You're not late. I'm glad you're here. Hong Kong. Um, oh, Ritz, now that you're here, I can make you laugh with this, too. Ritz, look at this. Jay drew a picture of us. So if you wanted to know what we look like, ready? Ready? There you go. <laughs> we don't actually look like that, but there you go. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for being so lovely. Thank you to everybody who turned out to chat with us. Thank you to everybody who went over to the Sidley's to chat. I know it's a lot of thank yous again. I'm really going to piss people off with that. Thank you for being so lovely and for being so supportive and making every day a little brighter. You're wonderful. And uh, you have me all inspired. I want to look into this second channel thing, see if I can do something with it in terms of travel. Um, I will put, I, the link is in the chat here, but I will put it, if you're watching this after the fact, and you're like, what are you talking about? I'll put it in the comments. I am in YouTube jail on that channel. It's hard to explain. It just means I haven't posted in so long. They kind of sent me a letter saying, hey, uh, it looks like you've abandoned your channel. I'm like, I haven't. I just don't have time. I don't know what to post there. But I do want to consider doing a travel channel. So I will give that some thought. It may just be random trips to, I don't know, Disney or Dollywood or wherever we end up. Maybe the UK. Um, that would be amazing. But you guys are the best. Thank you all for everything. Thank you for being here. You guys really are the best. Jay, tell them what you're going to do and where to find you next. So after this stream ends, I'm going to stream a video game that will be on twitch.tv slash Dr. Bad Vibes and also the channel Dr. Bad Vibes, not, not the speech channel. This is the video game one. So if you if you click my name in the chat, uh, you can if you're not subscribed, you can find the channel. But I'll, I'll go live pretty soon after uh, after this one ends. I just have to set up and things around. Uh, yeah, just going to hang out, chit chat. I'm uh, working on a video game. Uh, going to finish it up and be done with it. And you know, maybe maybe do some silly stuff. We don't know. I appreciate everybody that's dropped by all the other streams. It really, it's really fun. We have lots of fun, and uh, you know, the support's been awesome. It, uh, allowed me to 
kind of get reinvigorated towards making videos and, and streaming also. So it's, it's, you know, fun. This is fun. Shell, that is an excellent idea. Shell is saying I should post some of my London stuff on the other channel. That is an excellent idea. I probably have bonus coronation footage I could post over there. That's a good place to start. Thank you for the idea. I appreciate that, Shell. You're wonderful. You all are wonderful. Thank you for making our day brighter and more fun and for being awesome. And yeah. Oh, I do have a fun video coming up. I can't remember. Let's see. I know I do a Twitter video coming up, but I have one where I go into the blind items. I love those things. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, the blind items where it's like, we hear that so-and-so did such and such with so-and-so. But I did one specific to Harry and Meghan, and we talk about if they ended up coming true and what we think they're talking about, that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm excited for you to see that. So check that out. That's coming very soon. And I am going to start this book next week. I'm so excited. It's the King Charles the Third book, but it's pretty juicy. I'm enjoying it. Hey, T, again, with the gifting of the Real Housewives Recaps membership. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Kelly says, thank you for the brilliant live chat. Thank you for the brilliant comments you all left me. Uh, <laughs> Patrick says, honk, honk, boing, boing. I love it. Amazing. Oh, too fun. Uh, Helen says, Jen, you make my day so much brighter, especially at the moment as I've had my leg broken. Oh my gosh, Helen, we are sending you hugs and wishing you nothing but the best. And your comments, I appreciate so much, but I hope you feel better soon. I really do. Nicola, thank you. Says, I'd love to see more of your London trip. Thank you. I need to find, I hope I still have the videos. Thank you. I have them somewhere. Uh, Beth, is, oh, is thanking you, KT, for the gift membership. KT is my lobster. She's always so generous. Thank you, as is Una Pakora. All you guys are. Thank you so much for those that have bought memberships or gifted memberships. Everybody, thank you. Ritz says, bless you, membership gifters. Yes, because it all goes back to help the channel, and it means so much to us. But, uh, yeah, be sure to join Jay. Are you going to be streaming immediately, you think, or you need a break? What are you thinking? Here you talk. Semi immediately, I, I, I'm gonna get it going uh, as soon as I can. Uh, my computer's not on and all that, so maybe about 15, 20 minutes where it goes live. But it'll <laughs> wow, <laughs> gathering of the juggalos. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll yeah probably like let's say 15 minutes, uh, and it's a simul stream. So if you don't, Twitch is the home of the stream, but I, it also rebroadcasts at the same time to YouTube. So if you don't want to go on Twitch. Uh, just pull up uh, the Dr. Bad Vibes channel. Maybe uh, yeah. maybe we can set it up so when you end your stream, it'll redirect. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'll leave mine up for 50. Yeah, so if you're, if you're hanging out here, it'll send you to, straight to the stream without doing anything. Yeah, chat, chat amongst yourselves, have fun, and uh, we'll have it where it just automatically sends you over to his stream once he goes live. But thank you guys for everything. Appreciate it. This picture is cracking me up. You guys are the best. Have a lovely night. Sending you all hugs. And uh, I promise to do this again soon. Oh, thank you, Patrick. You do not have to do that. Thank you. Patrick says, um, thank you for getting us 20 through 2023. Thank you. You you guys are the reason that I got through 2023. I get it. And I appreciate it. But um, I'll leave this up so you guys can keep chatting if you want. And then uh, Jay will send it over to his stream once he goes live. So he probably needs like 15 minutes. Grab a sandwich and <laughs> work out, apparently. He says he'll see you all at the gym. <laughs> that's actually not too inaccurate because that's that well, yeah, that, that, that's that, room, that room is also the gym. So right. I'll see you at the gym. Yeah. All right. Again, thank you guys for everything. Uh, I always have to shout out the Sidley twins. I'm now a triplet. I know you all are subbed to them, but if you haven't, do consider subbing them. They're wonderful. Thank you to them for shouting me out. Sending people over to the stream, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a lovely night. Bye-bye.